Hello engineers, in this short video, we will talk about relief valve sizing by using Aspen Hises. Pressure relief valves or other relieving devices are used to protect piping, valve fitting and equipment against excessive pressure, higher than their design pressure. Proper selection, use, location and maintenance of relief devices are essential to protect personnel and equipment as well as to comply with the code and laws. Relief valves must be designed to open rapidly and fully and adequately sized to handle the total flow of a gas and liquids that could potentially cause an overpressure situation. They relieve the pressure by routing the fluid stream to a safe location where it can be vented to atmosphere or burned using a flare system. Relief valves are essential because safety switches do fail or can be bypassed for operational reasons. So this is our flow sheet. We have the feed stream which is connected with the vessel and we are getting the vapor from the top and liquid from the bottom. We will try to design a PSV for a vessel to protect it from a fire event based on API standards. So in this particular case, blowdown valve does not operate correctly. It means the total flow will pass through the pressure relief valve. If we move to the software, if you look at a component list, we have nitrogen, carbon dioxide and H2S and the remaining are hydrocarbons here. The package I am going to use here is Pang Robinson. Now move into the simulation environment. My default unit site is SI. So first I will put the feed stream. So the temperature is 66, pressure is 4 to 3 8 kilopascal. And the molar flow is 4 to 1 8. So I simply copy these values and place it here. Now go to composition, add it, and I simply do copy and paste to put the composition. After defining a material stream, I will put the valve here then a separator. Feed is my inlet stream and at outlet I have two sap. The pressure drop of the valve is 0 0.03 for kilopascal. Now double click the separator here, then let us do sap and this is my vapor out and this is the bottom. In order to put a PSV on the vapor stream, you can click on pressure relief option or either go to safety analysis. If you are using API code, so it will be better to use other and then click on the add PSV button and go near the vapor outlet and click here to provide the PSV. Now double click the PSV and provide the design temperature and pressure. So in my case, the design temperature is 350 Pressure is 700 PSIG. Usually this design temperature is the vessel design temperature. Now I move to scenario and click create scenario button. Check on sizing case. Then pick the fire case from here. 
After selecting a file case, I will go to PRD data and define the relief valve specification. Here it's a relief valve. The design code is other for the API. Discharge location is clear. The constant superimposed back pressure. The set pressure is also there. The relief valve type is conventional. And the body material is carbon steel. If I go to the scenario option, in the scenario, I will select my inlet stream. So my inlet stream is feed here. Click OK. The relieving phase method is direct integration HEM. Now you can see the API model detail. See there, the orientation is vertical, including bottom hat hemispherical. So it is vertical, including bottom hat, and this is hemispherical. Now I will put the dimension of separator. It is 12 feet, tangent to tangent length is 38. So it is 12 feet, tangent to tangent length is 38 feet, liquid level 19 feet and elevation is 5. So liquid level is 19 and the elevation is 5 here. After defining all this value, the valve type is conventional and the material is stainless steel. So I need to define it stainless steel. So I go back to the PSV option, then choose the material here. It is stainless steel. Simply go to scenario. And look at there, the calculated orifice size is 1.5. So I will select equivalent or higher size. So 1.2 is there, the next available is 1.838 K. So the designation of the orifice is K. And you can see that orifice calculation completed. In this case, my objective is to calculate the mass flow for the fire scenario. Calculated relieving temperature in this scenario, selected orifice size to protect the vessel, and mass fraction of N hexane calculated during the fire relief. Our team has designed a comprehensive training program, process design engineering. In this course, we will talk about the industrial standard, the rule of thumbs, calculation methodology by using Excel, and at the end, we will do software based application of all the technical topics so if you want to join this course you can click on the link available in the description now i will move to the next part in which i will size the piping upstream and downstream of the relief valve for this i will go to the psv option again then go to line sizing in a line sizing tab i will click on rating option then click on edit pipe and fitting you can see there the vessel outlet type is pipe and the nominal die is 3 and the length is 8 and elevation is also 8 so i will go there click here psv inlet and click Add above. So it is pipe is standard nominal dia required 3 and the length 8, elevation 8. Nominal is 3, length is 8 feet and the elevation is 8 feet. Now I will move towards the outlet flange. Click add globe. So if you see the data, 
I have one, two, three, four, five items at the outlet. So I will click four more time here. Add blow, add blow, add blow, and again add blow. The first is tailpipe one with a size of four inches, and the length is one. Elevation is zero. So it is tail pipe one size is four inches, length is one, elevation is zero. Then I have sweats four inches with one eighty angle. So it is sweats. Four inches, and if you look at there, the angle for the stretch it is one eighty already. Now I have tailpipe two, then the gate valve, then tailpipe three. So this is tail pipe two. Then gate valve, then tail pipe three. So here for the tail pipe two, it is four feet in length with a nominal die of four inches, and elevation is zero. So die is four inches, the length is four, and the elevation is zero. Then I have a gate valve. So if we look at the configuration of gate valve, it is fitting four gate valve one quarter open. So it is fitting. Then I need to choose gate valve one quarter opening. It is also four inches. Then tail pipe. It is four, the nominal dia, and six feet in length. Zero is the elevation. So it is six feet in the length. Okay, and zero is the elevation. Now I will click on accept button and click. Run line sizing option. The outlet line pressure drop check error. Back pressure exceeds the maximum allowable by the PSV. Outlet line pressure drop check error. Calculated pressure drop is this one, which is higher than the specified build-up back pressure, seventy psi. And also, error regarding exit velocity. Fluid velocity at the pipe exit is higher than ninety percent of the critical velocity. So it means we need to make some changes there. So in this particular case, I will go to Edit Piping and Fitting, the tail pipe two, ten inches, and the gate valve, ten inches, and the tail pipe three is also ten inches. Now I will try to run on this scenario. You can see that the inlet line pressure drop check OK, outlet line velocity check OK, outlet line pressure drop check OK. So it is successfully completed. Now look at the calculated mass flow rate for the fire scenario. If you want to see the flow rate, you can see there. This is your required and the rated flow rate. The calculated relief temperature in this scenario. So, if you go to scenario, you can see that the calculated relieving temperature is two ninety three point four Fahrenheit. 
the required relieving flow is 9.639 exponent 4 ohm per hour. Selected orifice size to protect the vessel. Selected orifice size. So this is your selected orifice size 1.838. The designation is K. And the last thing, the mass fraction of N hexane calculated during the fire release. So you can go to relief composition and you can see there an hexane is 3.5 exponential minus 2. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again with some new topic.